for those about to adventure, we salute you. Well, even if you just want to look like you're about to, that's cool with us too. Either way, there are all kinds of trucks, crossovers, and SUVs out there that look the part and play it too. And you know, not all off-roaders are created equal, but then not all adventures are either. Maybe you don't want to go overlanding in the first place, or you do, but the vehicle you want doesn't align with the one you need. That's why this list has a nice spread from the most civilized off-roaders out there to the most serious. For more expert car reviews, don't forget to share our channel and subscribe so you can catch some of this and maybe even a little of that. This isn't an outright ranking. It's a collection of the best adventure vehicles out there, so there's no particular order to it. But the Jeep Wrangler and its fraternal twin, the Gladiator pickup, seems like as good a place as any to start, and even the cheapest trims provide a rare kind of capability. The Wrangler isn't exactly the most cooperative vehicle to drive on the pavement, but it's virtually unstoppable where it ends, especially in hardcore Rubicon guys. That's where all the important mechanical parts get a once over to amp up the already impressive capabilities offered by the solid axles front and rear, low range transfer case and short overhangs that make virtually any and all obstacles obsolete. The latest unconventional truck to hit the market won't make it much further than a rough cottage road, but the Hyundai Santa Cruz delivers the right kind of capability for city dwellers in particular. Instead of an all-out adventure rig, this compact pickup will get you and your gear to most camping spots with ease, while its size makes it more maneuverable around town than a mid-sized truck like the Gladiator. There's also all kinds of capacity in the bed or on the roof, but best of all, the Santa Cruz is nimble. It might not have big time ground clearance or rock bashing skid plates, but it'll snake its way along moderate trails while driving an awful lot like a car on the road. It might not have bro dozer energy, but that suits us just fine. If you're convinced the Santa Cruz just won't cut it for what you have planned, the Ford Ranger Tremor is a slightly larger truck with even bigger off-road aspirations. It's not a Ranger Raptor, but that's kind of the whole point, and this is a nice rig that doesn't go too far overboard. It builds on the Ranger's FX4 package by adding beefier suspension and, most importantly, proper all-terrain tires. It also looks the business with an exposed skid plate under the front bumper to go with recovery hooks perfect for pulling stray Santa Cruises out of the mud. Kidding! Subaru's entire lineup of crossovers is surprisingly capable with full-time all-wheel drive in the same 220 millimeters of ground clearance, providing a great springboard for adventure. The new wilderness trims take that baked-in capability to another level through meaningful upgrades, some you can see and some you can't. Think of it like Subaru's version of Jeep's Trailhawk sub-brand. The first to get the wilderness treatment was the Outback, with the Forester following shortly thereafter. The wagon-like Outback would likely be our pick for its improved performance with a turbocharged engine that the Forester lacks. Otherwise, everything else is the same, starting with a stilted suspension to go with a selection of skid plates underneath, all-terrain tires, a full-size spare, and more robust roof rails that can accommodate rooftop tents. The same goes for the Ford Bronco Sport Badlands, which is the top trim in this small SUV's lineup. Every Bronco Sport features four-wheel drive, but this one gets an upgraded twin-clutch system that reacts more quickly to surface conditions and splits torque accordingly. It also adds two extra settings to the terrain management system specifically tailored to rocks and mud, so it's possible to take this thing just a little further off the beaten path. The reinforced roof rails mean it can handle a tent up top while the inside is filled with clever solutions like seatback storage webbing and carabiner style closing hooks along the rear window sills. If it's the Bronco badge you're after, but your off-road aspirations are aimed higher than what that escape size version can handle, this'll do the trick. After years of waiting and a little more waiting as production delays hold up deliveries, the Ford Bronco is back and ready to do battle with the Jeep Wrangler for off-road supremacy. Available in two and four door body styles, just like the Wrangler, and with a removable roof and doors, just like the Wrangler, the Bronco can be head with locking differentials, beefy off-road suspension, and massive mud terrain tires. In short, the Bronco is ready to tackle trails right out of the box, but with its independent front suspension, this rig's on-road manners put it a clear step ahead of its rival from Jeep. While any version of the Toyota Tacoma or 4Runner offers impressive capability from the factory, it's their TRD Pro trims that truly make these two worthy of a shared spot on our list. These are old school off-roaders with rock solid reputations for reliability for good reason. They're all but unkillable. 
Upgraded suspension components, skid plates, a locking differential, and a terrain management system that can dig and crawl its way out of axle deep sand are all part of the TRD Pro package. Like the Bronco, these Toyota Twins use an independent front suspension, which isn't quite as robust as the solid axle used by the Wrangler and Gladiator, but it's undeniably more relaxed and comfortable as a result. Unlike the Tacoma, the Chevrolet Colorado doesn't have that top-to-bottom capacity for adventure. For starters, four-wheel drive isn't standard, and even once it's added, the Colorado lacks the settings and four-wheeling fundamentals of its rival Toyota. But the Colorado ZR2 and the pricey Bison package in particular is a leaps and bounds upgrade for those looking for some serious off-road chops. For starters, it has front and rear locking axles and the suspension uses specialized dampers developed by Multimatic that are durable and configurable for a variety of conditions. On top of all that, the front bumper is tapered to provide improved clearance as if the 254 millimeters of ground clearance wasn't enough already, while the rocker panels are fitted with extra protection against trail damage and the all-terrain tires are meaty enough for the gnarliest conditions you can find. Oh, and did we mention you can get this thing with a diesel engine? Then you've got the Bison package, which adds bumpers from Off-Road Outfitters AEV, rear corner sliders, and beefy skid plates for the fuel tank, differentials, transfer case, and engine. With the exception of the Bronco Sport, the Toyota RAV4 Trail, and its optional TRD Off-Road package is easily the most mild-mannered sport utility on this list. It's still worthy of its spot, though, and this Canadian-made compact doesn't try to be anything it isn't. So what is it? For starters, it's a RAV4, which means it's as practical as it is popular. It might not be exciting, but it makes the most of its compact footprint by offering tons of space for people and stuff, ideal for family life or adventure or both. The RAV4 trail separates itself from the rest of the lineup, mostly visually with chunky wheel arch moldings, unique bumper treatments, and robust roof rails. On the technical side, the all-wheel drive system features active torque vectoring that can split the available torque from side to side, while the drive mode selector gets some extra settings for mud, snow, and rocks. And then the TRD off-road package adds skid plates and a tweaked suspension system. As the lone luxury vehicle on this list, the Land Rover Defender can hold its own against just about any of the others here. Much like the Bronco, it's back after a long hiatus and has big shoes to fill, and it does so admirably. The doors and roof don't come off, but you can get your Defender with two or four doors, while engine options range from good to great. Of course, all engines compared to an all-wheel drive system with low-range gearing for rough stuff, and there's a whole host of terrain management settings to run through. Where the Defender plays its premium trump card is with its available air suspension that can provide 291 millimeters of ground clearance more than any other vehicle on this list, and it can wade through water as deep as 900 millimeters. And if you want it to look the part of a world-conquering adventure rig, Land Rover will gladly sell you accessories like a massive roof rack, side-mounted storage bin, and even a snorkel to keep the Defender breathing clean air out on the trail. That's one hell of a list if you ask me. And no, not all 10 were built to take you to the ends of the earth, but that's the whole point. One thing that's definitely true though, all 10 of them are sure to make your next adventure that much more enjoyable.